Hello, welcome back to AJ and Learn. Today I want to show you how to hide your navigation links on one page of your site. Uh, the reason I like to use this is typically for landing pages, if uh, whether you're using that with ads or however you're using that. Sometimes we have these standalone landing pages that we want to hide navigation from. Um, I typically don't want to hide the whole header. I like to leave the logo there. Check out the post last week. It's also linked here. Um, on how to disable click on your logo. And then you can kind of accomplish all this at once where you still have a header, but you can kind of control what's there. Um, okay, let's dive in. Make sure to subscribe if you like these videos. So I'll paste, go ahead and paste this first little piece over. So first thing is, I'm gonna paste that in and I need my collection ID. So you need to be on the page that you want to do this on, right? So like I'm on my home page, but let's pretend you need to be on your landing page Find that collection ID. I always suggest this Squarespace ID finder, Google extension, everything's linked in the post. Um, get that collection ID in there and then bam, your nav all disappears. Cool, so that was easy and successful. You can do this on any page. Um, again, check out our other posts. You can disable this click on the logo so then no one can like navigate around. You can keep them on that page or kind of direct them a little bit better. Um, I a lot of times do like to keep the button in the navigation in these situations, but this is a part of the post. Uh, you can also get rid of that. So let me copy the same collection ID over. You can definitely get rid of that header button if you didn't want them navigating to that, whatever that main call to action is you have there as well. Um, last thing that I want to show here is there are definitely some times where I want to, I only want to remove like I want to control what links are in the navigation, right? And again, this really applies to landing pages. So let's say they're on a landing page and I just want to kind of guide that navigation and only show my services maybe or my courses or and services or just, you know, guide it in a way. So let me paste this in from the post, clean it up a bit. So first thing you're going to need to do is grab that collection ID again. And you're just gonna have to adjust based on this child number, uh, you know, based on which one you wanna hide. So do you wanna hide the first link? Do you wanna hide the second link? Um, so like if I have none of them here, I have, oh, oh I hate, hate that, let me get rid of this. So we have course, services, store, blog, drop down. So two, it hides the second one, which is services. If I hide the first one, that's courses. Third one, blog. What's cool is you can do this in multiples. So I can paste this and, what was the fourth one? Um, it goes on the number that's actually like in the nav, not what's showing here. So like the next one would be if I wanted to hide drop down, that's technically my fifth one. So this would be a great way to guide the navigation and say, hey, I only want you to be able to click on courses or services on this landing page. Um, all right. Pretty simple and cool. Hope you enjoy. Again, don't forget to subscribe. We thank you for watching.